When it comes to revising a story, and that can be a novel, a screenplay, or something of that nature, one of the things I like to do is to go back in and look at it you know, from the perspective of specific characters, right? So I'll take the main characters, both good and bad, and you know, I'll pick one and then go down that list, but I'll start with the first one and I'll, I'll read that story and only focusing on the scenes that they're an active participant in. So if it's a scene between, uh, like if, if I'm focused on character A, right? Um, and characters B and C are talking about character A, that doesn't apply to me, right? I want scenes where character A is actively involved in, okay? And what I'll do is I'll specifically read those and basically just make sure it's consistent that they're not doing something that, you know, isn't inherently part of who they are um, and that there's no glaring plot holes because one of the benefits of, of doing it that way, you know, I'm able to really just focus in on them and I can start to see of, of like, oh, wait, you know, uh, at the end, they're doing this, but early on that they said they would never do that. So if there is there a justification for that switch or is it just, you know, ease of the plot because that needs to happen, right? So these things become a lot more apparent as I'm going through, you know, the story in this way. And as I said, I, I do this for the various main characters. So it does take work, especially when you have many, many characters, but it is truly beneficial. And again, the, the nice part is you're not having to go through the entirety of the thing. Um, you're just focused on the, the sections with that particular character. So, you know, that should alleviate some of it. And by doing this, it, it kind of makes you more aware, um, of the story anyway. And so by, you know, if you start with character A and then go to character B, you'll already kind of be thinking about it in this new perspective. And I say new perspective because when you're writing, there's a lot to kind of, uh, you know, if you're juggling, keep, keep a lot of balls in the air, right? Because, you know, even if you're writing something contemporary, you're still world building. You've got to think about the characters, the plot and so forth, right? And, you know, despite our best efforts, you know, things slip through the cracks, right? And that's what revision is for. And when you can look at revision, not just like rereading from start to finish, but if you can kind of look at the piece of work from various angles, this being a, a, a specific one, right? Um, it allows you to to catch those things and it opens not only just catch those things but it also opens the door for opportunities that you didn't think about before right so it's not just like oh okay you know this is a cat uh this is a fail safe way to catch mistakes but i've also found that it it opens up other opportunities for things that you know sometimes since the beginning i've been like okay i'm stuck on this i don't have you know the way to unlock it you know i'm just and then pass with this, but I know it needs to happen. How do I make it happen, right? And so I love this, call it an exercise if you want, but it really is part of my revision process. And it just elevates the work to a next level, I find. And, it, and it's really enjoyable, especially for me, because I love getting to know the characters, right? And the more I know the characters, the, the stronger the story becomes, ultimately. So if this is something that seems like a good idea to you, uh, utilize it, right? You don't have to, but, um, you know, as part of my toolkit, if you will. And so I wanted to encourage you to at least know about it, right? So that way, if ever you find yourself stuck for whatever reason, you know, now at least you know this and you can try to come at it from this angle. If and when you do, let me know how it goes for you. I'm very curious about your experience with this sort of process.